Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of investing and finance. Today, we're unraveling the recent buzz around Bitcoin ETFs. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, has given the green light to the listing of exchange-traded funds that hold Bitcoin. This is a game changer as it provides investors with alternatives to companies like MicroStrategy for gaining exposure to Bitcoin. In the past, companies like MicroStrategy were seen as a proxy for Bitcoin investment. However, the landscape is evolving. There are now 10 new Bitcoin ETFs approved from established issuers such as Fidelity, BlackRock, and Invesco. This move by the SEC has undoubtedly democratized access to Bitcoin and is a significant step towards the mainstream acceptance of cryptocurrencies. With Bitcoin ETFs in the game, the investing landscape is undoubtedly shifting. But what does this mean for companies like MicroStrategy? MicroStrategy, a software company, has been heavily invested in Bitcoin. But with the advent of Bitcoin ETFs, it seems their position is under threat. MicroStrategy's bold venture into Bitcoin has been an intriguing tale, but not without its fair share of twists and turns. As a software company, their primary focus has always been on business intelligence, mobile software, and cloud-based services. However, their decision to invest heavily in Bitcoin turned many heads, and for a while it seemed like a masterstroke. But as the saying goes, the only constant in life is change, and this applies even to the world of Bitcoin investments. With the advent of Bitcoin ETFs, the investment landscape has shifted dramatically. Exchange-traded funds or ETFs that hold Bitcoin have been approved by the SEC, providing investors with new alternatives for exposure to Bitcoin. In the face of these developments, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin investment has been somewhat lackluster. It has underperformed against other options like the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. One viewpoint suggests that there's no compelling reason for investors to hold on to MicroStrategy for its Bitcoin holdings. In fact, this perspective goes as far as issuing a sell recommendation for the company's shares. A sum of parts analysis further deepens the concern surrounding MicroStrategy. It suggests that the company's shares are overvalued by as much as 36%. The core software business of MicroStrategy is barely breaking even, and it's suggested that this does not justify the assigned valuation of the shares. So, what does the future hold for MicroStrategy? It's a question that only time can answer, but these recent developments have certainly put the company in a tricky position. While MicroStrategy navigates this turbulent sea, let's shift our focus to the broader crypto market and how it's reacting to these changes. The crypto market is known for its volatility, and the introduction of Bitcoin ETFs has certainly stirred the pot. This new development has sent ripples through the market, causing fluctuating prices and a surge of excitement among investors. Consider this, a false report claiming that the SEC had approved BlackRock's spot. Bitcoin ETF caused a brief but significant spike in Bitcoin's price by 10%. Though the gains were subsequently reduced to around 3%, the incident demonstrated the market sensitivity to the prospect of Bitcoin ETFs. This isn't the only instance where the mere hint of a Bitcoin ETF has caused a stir. Major asset management firms like BlackRock and Fidelity have thrown their hats into the Bitcoin ETF ring, and their involvement has sparked hope and anticipation among investors. These firms are known for their financial acumen and their backing of Bitcoin ETFs lends credibility to the concept. But it's not just about the big players. The prospect of Bitcoin ETFs has also attracted a broader base of investors, many of whom see ETFs as a more accessible way to gain exposure to Bitcoin without having to hold the cryptocurrency directly. This is a significant shift in the crypto landscape, as it opens up the market to those who may have been previously deterred by the complexity of cryptocurrency investment. However, it's important to remember that this is still a developing story. The SEC is yet to make a final decision on many Bitcoin ETF applications, and the market's response could change dramatically depending on the outcome. So, what does this mean for you, the investor? How can you ride this wave of change? As an investor, the advent of Bitcoin ETFs presents new opportunities and challenges. It's an exciting time, with new avenues for investment opening up. Bitcoin ETFs like the ones from Fidelity, BlackRock, and Invesco offer the potential for diversification into the world of cryptocurrencies without the need to directly own Bitcoin. They trade like stocks, which makes them easily accessible to investors. However, as with all investments, there are risks involved. The volatile nature of Bitcoin and the broader cryptocurrency market can lead to significant fluctuations in the value of these ETFs. This can potentially impact the return on your investment. 
Moreover, the regulatory landscape is still evolving, with the Securities and Exchange Commission yet to approve many Bitcoin ETFs. This can affect the availability and performance of these ETFs. But don't let these challenges deter you. With careful planning, a well-rounded understanding of the market, and a diversified portfolio, you can navigate the Bitcoin ETF landscape successfully. With the right knowledge and careful planning, you can navigate the Bitcoin ETF landscape and potentially reap significant benefits. That wraps up our deep dive into Bitcoin ETFs and their impact on the investing landscape. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay updated with the latest in the world of finance and investing. Until next time, keep your investments smart and your portfolios diversified.